Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. Today our title is A Heartbreaking Sacrifice. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 21 and verse 10, it says, Rizpah, daughter of Ahi, took sackcloth and spread it out for herself on the rock from the beginning of the harvest till the rain poured down from the heavens and on the bodies. She did not let the birds of the air touch them by day or the wild animals by night. Here is a heartbreaking sacrifice of a mother who her two sons had been given into death and she wanted them to have a proper burial and she uh, she uh, she did not want the uh, you know, she did not want the wild animals at night time to eat the flesh, and she wouldn't allow the birds during the day to take and uh, pick out their uh, pick out their eyeballs or pick their flesh or whatever. You know, I mean, she didn't have a burial. She didn't have a tomb to place her children in. She didn't have. But you know what? She wanted a sacrifice for her children. You know, I'm gonna take care of my own. And she she laid their bodies out upon a rock, and she stayed there day and night to fight off and to fight off anything that might come and devour her children. She did not want their flesh given uh, given up and for the birds or the wild animals. You know, a heartbreaking sacrifice in mind in your life. What if we had to really sacrifice for it? What are, what are you willing to sacrifice for? Is there something that just breaks your heart that you're willing to sacrifice? Is there a situation that you're willing to sacrifice? Is there a situation you're willing to put yourself in to sacrifice? This mom gives us a great example. God's for you who can be against you. You know, whenever we're coming in our situations in life to where we have to give up a heartbreaking sacrifice, rest assured to know God's right there. He's right there with you. He's right there with you right now. If you might be going through this trouble, you might be going through this situation, know that God's with you. Hope this gives you a word of encouragement. God bless you. We'll see you again soon.